Today, I have a new crock pot. And you think, well, what's Jim got a new crock pot for? What kind of turkey recipe is he gonna do? However, this is not going to be a turkey recipe because you see the hydrogen peroxide back there? Well, we got ourselves a beaver skull. So I've cut this skull off and uh, you can see that I'm bringing it outside because I do uh, love my wife and would like to preserve my marriage. And you will also see that this is a new crock pot, <laughs> which means that I got it on sale at like uh, one of the retail places. And um, I'm planning on uh, just using this for skulls. Now the good news is, is that I've got a specific skull type piece of gear now. And uh, I'm gonna take you through boiling the uh, skull and bleaching it. That's what we got the peroxide for. So we got 3% hydrogen peroxide for a buck 80. It's like uh, one of the pharmacies around here. And then uh, we're gonna get this crock pot out and take it outside. And I'm gonna show you how to fix and uh, make a beaver skull absolutely stunning. You can do this with any other kind of skull that you might have if you don't want to get a mount or what have you or you have too many mounts in your basement like i do and uh so yeah let's get started all right skull will actually fit in it i'm sure it will take a look Oh yeah, nicely. Now this skull, I actually just took out of the freezer, so I'm gonna actually leave it in the crock pot for several hours, but um, probably about five or six hours. But the thing that the crock pot does, is you keep it on a low simmer, you don't ever boil it, and then you can take all the meat off and it's really easily done. Don't even need a pressure washer for this. So let's get started on this thing. Put the dish soap at the end so that there's really not much foam. But we'll put in about that much. And that's really it. Now let's take that beaver skull out. It's a beaver I just trapped for uh, one of my friends who is a farmer. He's got a lot of nuisance beavers at his place. And, uh, this was a large male, actually, that I grabbed. I just got 90% of the meat and stuff off already. I had cut the tongue out and gotten all that through there out of there, so. But that just fits perfectly in there. And now we're gonna take this outside. Coffee's done. You can see we're gonna turn it on low and we are just gonna leave this. Let's get that new lid. That's it. We're gonna do nothing for the next five to six hours. Oops, forgot the borax. All right, we need to go get just a Scotia borax and what that'll do is that'll melt off all that fat. My dear, my dear. <laughs> There's a beaver. All right, Jahil. Studio back there. Getting some borax. <clears throat>
Got some borax. We're gonna put that in there now. That will melt that fat right off. this it's now uh, about six o'clock let's see if this is all coming off the bone yet oh yeah that's ready to strip off whoops maybe it is yeah we're gonna find out if that's ready to get some of that meat off of that bone let's pull it out Oh yeah, that stuff just falls, falling right off. Could put some gloves on, make it easier for myself, but it wouldn't be so hot. Why look, there's an eyeball. Probably should put some gloves on. <laughs> Some meat in here. Whew, that's warm. Probably would taste pretty good, actually. And I'm not going to bore you with this tedious getting the meat off process, but as you can see, it's coming off quite easily. Not unlike a roast. And uh, I might pull the pressure washer out, I might not. But uh, it tastes like soap. Ugh. Probably won't be uh, eating much of that. But it is pretty warm at the moment, so I'm gonna probably grab 
some gloves and just start pulling it off. I just pulled this little piece of bone off here and uh, I'm gonna get all this crust out in the uh, septum and all that stuff. I'm gonna get everything clear out of there and I may keep all that off of there anyway. get all that stuff out of there and glue that bone on if I want to or I can leave it off I'll make that decision after I watched a video or two more but that is a piece of bone right there so I want to get all of this out of here Probably get the back of the head off, or the uh, where I cut the skull. That's ears right there. One thing to point out is uh, I pulled these apart uh, because they're connected with cartilage. Uh, so I pulled these uh, the bottom jaw apart. I'm going to go rinse this off in the sink really well, and then rinse this bone off as well. But this is the meat that I've gotten off so far. And uh, I've still got some to go. I went ahead and put the other part of the skull into the um, uh, crock pot again. So we'll just uh, keep moving. That's what we're going to do. I'll show you what I've done so far. We've got the most of the meat gone. And um, I've went ahead and there's this one bone here um, for the uh, septum. And I'll have to pull that off with some tweezers and stuff. So, and then this is the uh, the bottom jaw. So I'm going to get that. And what you do after you're all done getting everything all cleaned up is uh, super glue these back together. But uh, look at those cutters, man. That's just unbelievable how how uh, strong those teeth are. They're razor sharp too. Um, you know, as you all know, beavers have to chew in order to. Uh, Keep their teeth grow and they grow all the time otherwise they'd uh, grow right into their heads so that's the uh, extent of it right now i'll uh, get the rest of that pulled out and then we'll uh, keep moving nursing drake <laughs> drake likes to nurse all right, I'm gonna show you the difference between the uh, cleaned off and the not cleaned off. So, and there's a lot of different vasculature and cartilage and things that go through here. So, you know, you gotta get all that out of there. And, uh, you know, vasculature that went through here and, uh, some cartilage up here. So still got a little bit of cleaning to do and then we'll get it into the uh, next part of the bath. using hot water here. So right here, these are bones that are cleaned and ready to go in for whitening. We're gonna get the rest of that skull cleaned up now. Making my wife crazy. I'm gonna go ahead and fill that up. I've already been working on this part of the skull. You can see how much stuff I've gotten off already. So I gotta just get all the cartilage and the stuff out the back and make sure that that uh, brain case is all cleared out. So that will be my next 
item to do. In the meantime, we'll clean this out. And ooh, get it back on the heater so that we can uh, put the uh, peroxide in it and then get that going. It'll probably take about an hour or two tops. high for about an hour. That way that'll get it really rolling. Okay, this is the final last scrub that I'm going to do. Just make sure everything's as good as it can get. A lot of cartilage in this area here by the ears, where the ears were, and then this back area here. So, but I got as much as I could, and we'll get it in the in the uh, bath, making sure the brain case is absolutely empty, which it is. Making sure that this nose area is empty out, good and scrubbed. And it's ready for the big bath. It's disgusting. Dead beaver stuff in my sink is just totally disgusting. I'm a guy, I didn't clean it out good enough. That's right. But I have my own crock pot now. All you women out there are going to understand this because his idea of cleaning it out is this. I cleaned it out. This is my idea of cleaning it out. And I bet you anything he didn't clean this knife good. But even if he did, I'm cleaning it again. There's beaver stuff on my knife. Beaver jokes never get old, do they? <laughs> We're gonna go to a local retailer and pick up some mop and glow so that my mount looks beautiful. And Linda's very excited. Super excited. I am gonna bet this is done. Let's take a peek here. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna shut that off. I'm gonna get in there. It's a little warm, but not horrible. Look at that, that's so cool. Even the back teeth are clean. Wow. That is so cool. Look at that. You have to clean some of that stuff off the middle teeth. I'm gonna give it a little bit longer. Wow, that is so cool. I'm pumped. Do a little bit longer. That's all hydrogen peroxide, so won't have to sterilize the sink again. And that is what this finished skull looks like. This is impressive. So cool. Man, even the, even the way inside the skull is all done. Rinse it off. And start letting it dry. We'll mop and glow this tomorrow. Now we're gonna super glue. And uh, the one thing I wanna make sure of is I've got some zip kicker here and I've actually just got some boning uh, glue that I used to use when I was uh, making my arrows, but I got Ranch Ferry making my arrows now, so I got the best of all worlds. But anyway, back to the beaver skull. Um, gotta make sure you don't get any um, 
super glue on the bone itself because it'll uh, it'll scar it up and make it nasty looking. So we're gonna be real careful here and get started. <clears throat> First thing we'll do is like a test fit. See how it's gonna fit together because it still has a decent amount of uh, stuff on it. And again, this was cartilage that kept this together, so it ain't gonna be perfect. But that's what it's gonna look like. those teeth to be exactly the way they were. And this isn't going to just, you know, stick because the cartilage uh, was what held it together. Now I've got it the way I want it. Actually, it's not the way I want it. It's the way it was, the way the teeth came together here and the way this bottom area came together here. So now it's just a matter of hanging on to it for a while. Uh, I'm not gonna put zip kicker on it because I don't wanna yellow the bone up. So just gonna be careful and take our time. Okay, and now we have the final step of the uh, project, which is the mop and glow. And uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna, I just, uh, I'm gonna demonstrate it really on this little tiny piece here. And just rub it on. Get it on both sides. Just preserves, protects. Gets rid of that, uh, what smell there is. Actually, there wasn't much smell in the um, brain case, which was where I was concerned about, to be honest with you, but it's perfectly fine. I'm going to use that for all through here, get them teeth shining. I did a little bit of, a uh, little last little bit of this, that, and the other thing of picking the uh, stuff off. And um, now just use my hands and just kind of spread it around, put it in the nose. Smells citrusy. Isn't that nice? Ooh, look at that shiny teeth. And just kind of get it all over the place. And... But I got off a little bit more cartilage and stuff like that that was in the back here. Get these teeth done. Really amazing. I, I think the my favorite part of this whole project was the anatomy, where the nerves came through and the vasculature came through and understanding a little bit more about the skull itself these little chambers here where the ears terminate you know makes me wonder what parts were what veins nerves all kinds of different areas it's pretty cool all right we're gonna leave this aside just set it down. I'm gonna go ahead and just be gentle with this part because I've already got that 
super glued and it looks like it's drying but I don't really feel like uh, pushing it at this point but I sure like them shiny teeth starting to feel like Bob Ross here happy little teeth happy little jawbone get that bone preserved that'll keep it white that's what the mop and glow does keeps it white and protects it 